What's up guys and welcome back, not just to yet another Little Big Planet 3 video, but a brand new Little Big Planet 3 mini-series. Some of you may have known that Casey recently Mike. there was Stephen Fry interrupting my video. No, basically there was a team pick release by, uh... Oh, who is it now? Uh, Felkroth called Treasure Hunter. And now this is a big RPG style thing that I wanted to play through as a little bit of a mini series. And I think it's gonna be really fun. I think it's gonna be really cool. So why don't we just head in? Now what's so cool about this is this is the first ever adventure map we will be playing on my channel. So this will be really cool. First we have to go to The Journey Begins. So let's begin. Oh boy, oh. Huh, another entirely ordinary day. <laughs> I wonder what I should do today. Probably record a bunch of fun YouTube videos. What am I doing lo lounging around when I got videos to record? Who could that be? Ah! Time to pay your rent, slacker! Oh no, I forgot the bills. Mayor Steve Big Hat. That's right, I'm here to collect your rent for this month. You owe me 10,000 gold. That's a lot, but... I don't have any money, and you didn't have to break my door. That's even more I have to pay. That's not my problem. You have one day to pay up or I'll have to evict you. Have a nice day. Stinking Mr. Big Hat. Driving me out of my home I didn't pay for. Oh great, now what am I gonna do? I don't even know. This is quite the conundrum. I got it, I'll become a treasure hunter. There's plenty of money in there. Then I can use all the treasure I find to pay my rent. Sounds like a pretty solid plan. I don't know what could go wrong. What's up guys and welcome to Treasure Hunter. <laughs> awesome. So like I said, there's gonna be a bit of a mini series and if you enjoyed this, make sure to let me know. I'm gonna be doing, it's sort of gonna be similar to the DLC that I used to do on Little Big Planet 2. Oh man, going out into the world now. Look at us in our top-down little adventure form. Oh, this is so cool. I like this a lot. Can we go back into our, oh, we can. Wow, this is really pretty looking. And we can press triangle, I think, again, take out all of our uh, quests now. We have paying the rent, deliver 10,000 gold to Steve Big Hat. And then we also have becoming a treasure hunter. Go to the treasure hunters. Oh, there's a whole guild. Now let's just go to bed. I'm too tired to be doing all this adventure. I'd rather just go to bed. <laughs> okay, then let's go. This is gonna be such a cool little adventure. There's supposed to be hours of gameplay in this, so it'll be really nice to check it out. The door is locked, it looks like we're not going in there. And wow, this looks really pretty. It feels like Little Big Planet 3 was just made for this level in particular. And hello, lady. Yeah, how are you? This town is so peaceful. Nothing bad ever happens here. I, I feel like that's jinxing it. Oh, the Treasure Hunters Guild. It's just across the town square. Um, well, this is Circle, so I hope this isn't it, because that'd be weird. <laughs> okay, then, so maybe this is it? Um. The only way to find out is to go on in and, oh, it looks like the the local tavern or something similar. Hello, lady, how are you? <laughs> Aren't you a bit too young to be in a place like this? Possibly. Are you going to question me on it? <laughs> and who is you? Uh, if only I could talk with one of the treasure hunters in this town. Oh, looks like we have a new quest here. And if we talk to him while we're a treasure hunter, maybe something will work out for us. It is a little laggy, but that's okay. Oh man, this is such a cool thing so far. Well, that's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the treasure hunter guild so that we can become our own treasure hunter and get precious, precious moolah. Oh, this totally has to be. Look at how grand this thing is. Welcome to the treasure hunters guild. How may I help you, Mrs. Receptionist? I'd like to become a treasure hunter. You're in luck, we are currently accepting new applicants. Hooray! Head through the door on the right and to the basement to meet with the guild master. What happens if I go on the left? Are you gonna beat me up? I bet not. Frida! Oh, there's nothing in here. Okay. <laughs> I mean, that was, I like, I had to check, because maybe that was the first test of becoming a, a, you know, a treasure hunter, is that they were going to tell me to go right when all the treasure was to the left. You never know. So, where are we going to go? Down here into the basement? Oh, spooky. Oh, my. So, we're in the basement now. Mr. Guildmaster. Oh, he was off this way. Hello. So, you must be our newest recruit. Yeah, I'm here to become a treasure hunter. That's the spirit. Let's get you started on the basics. First, you need to pick a class for yourself. Head over to the room on the right. Dr. Rodney will help you and see to see that you get some basic combat training. So there's combat. Oh man, this is gonna be cool. Let's talk to um Mr. Uh, Rodney over here. A new recruit, perfect timing too. All right. Perfect timing for what? Oh, you'll see, but first pick a class for yourself by standing in one of those circles and pressing all L2. Don't worry too much about it, you can always change it later if you want something, oh, okay. So no pressure, Um, so we got like a ranger, an archer. Archers can deal high amounts of damage to a single enemy from a long range. Archers have the second lowest health and defenses. Monk, monks are 
fast and deadly in close range combat. Monks have the highest damage of all classes. The heal looks really cool. I might want to be him. Um, warrior, slow but nearly indestructible character that fights at close range. Warriors have the highest health and defenses of all classes. And then finally, the mage. Mages specialize in dealing damage to multiple enemies from a medium range. They have the lowest health of all class. I sort of want to do... Um, I'm gonna stick with, let's do Archer for now. If we don't like it, then we'll do, we'll like change it later. Good, everyone has a class now. Head further into the, to get started with your combat training. Okay. So it's going off this way. This is looking so cool. I'm so excited right now. Unfortunately, we don't get to be our Zebratastic self from the looks of it, but that's okay. We'll survive. <laughs> Unfortunately, I wish we could be Zebratastic self, but um, I think we gotta go up now, north maybe? Uh, hmm. Well, yep, okay. And then we get to choose if we're boy or girl. Obviously, we're a boy, we're a zebra. So we can just go in here, we'll change it. Oh, we can just, yeah, choose boy. And there we go, now we're a dude. I think we already were, but there we go. I really wish we could be zebra, but you know, it's okay. We can start the combat training once everyone is inside. Okay, that's us. Good, let's get started. Oh, oh, activate. Oh, wait, 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 wait. What's going on here? Have you just trapped me into a deathmatch with a robot? Oh no, it's Bioshock over again. Prepare to receive adequate combat training. Adequate. No, I'm not good with adequateness. All right, first the basics. Below your character, you can see three hearts. This is your character's health display. If all the hearts turn black, it's game over. Uh oh. Uh oh, that's not good at all. Let's try performing a basic attack. Attack the training bot with by tapping R2. Oh, take that. Oh no, good, you can perform combo attack by repeating the basic attack several times, hold down or tap. Okay, so let's, yeah, there we go, keep on. Yeah, eat those arrows, boy. Whoa, whoa, arrows all over the place. <laughs> That's really cool. I'm a natural too, awesome. Look below your health display. There are four small diamonds as your stamina points. Okay, and what can I do with those? Special skills use one to two stamina points each. Okay, wow, this is really cool, I like this a lot. So. Use square, triangle, and circle to perform special skills. So we can go like that, hoo -ah. And then, ooh -ah. Oh, whoa, watch out for the bomb. <laughs> and then one more, what is this one? Whoa, it's like a flame in the arrow or something. Really cool. All right, that's perfect. Let me just open the door and let you out. Okay, let me out of here. Let me out of here, somebody up. Error, safety disabled, acquiring target. Prepare to receive se severe, not several, severe bodily harm. Uh, I think this guy is malfunctioning. <laughs> oh man. Okay, then it's me and you, buddy. We gotta fight to the death, then I will. I'm a zebra with a whole bunch of cool battle skills now. Ooh, and I, I looks like, okay, so we have three hearts, so we gotta be careful, because that's not a ton, but ooh, that one even knocks you back about the square move. I'm gonna have to use that pretty often then. We're out of uh, stamina now. Ooh, there we go, come on, keep shooting at you. You're almost halfway down. This is so cool, I'm loving this. I'm, ow, my face, oh, there goes one of my hearts, or half of my heart, actually. And this is sort of just like an AP, oh yeah, not, an ARPG is what I wanted to say. This is so stinking cool, and I keep on getting it. I'm pretty bad, but ooh, there we go. Come on, just a few more. Do the flaming arrow of death, and ooh, he stomped us, but we stomped him too. Gonna be electrifying, malfunctioning. What are you gonna do about it, buddy? Awesome, objective complete. <laughs> Let's talk to Dr. Rodney and see what he thinks about our deed of destroying his probably priceless, priceless robot. Where are you, buddy? Oh, he's not in here. Um, hmm. Where art thou, Mr. Rodney? You're here. Eh. That was not supposed to happen. Anyway, congratulations, you are now fully licensed treasure hunter. You should talk to the receptionist upstairs for your first assignment. You should also take a look at the bookshelves here in the basement if you want to learn more about how to be effective with your chosen class. Awesome, so we learned a whole bunch about being a treasure hunter here. Awesome, does uh, Mr. Man over here have anything to say? Oh, you're still here, talk to Dr. Rodney if you, oh, well, I already did. No worries, no worries. He didn't even, he's not even paying attention. He's probably playing on his Game Boy or something. Let's go upstairs and talk to the receptionist and get our first job. Oh man, going back out of the basement. Let's talk to the receptionist. Let's see what she has for us as she types away on her little iPad. Congratulations, I hear you passed the initiation test. What test? There was no test. You know, the giant robot malfunctioning by accident. That happens every time. Oh, okay, it's a setup. <laughs> Anyway, welcome to the guild, awesome. Here, here's your guild allowance to get you started on your journey. Moving on, I have your first assignment here. You are to go to Misty Forest and look for a treasure there. Misty Forest, where's that? Oh, it's easy to find. Just head left from the guild and exit through the west gate. 
Tell the guards at the gate you are on guild business and they'll let you through. Good luck. All right, then it looks like in the next episode, we'll do our first assignment, which is going to the Misty Mountain or whatever it was called and doing some cool stuff there. I hope you enjoyed this first episode of this interesting little series on this amazing community level. If you do, make sure to let me know in the comments below. Either way, on our way to the mountain. Bye-bye.